What's up guys? Godzilla back again. Uh, in this video we're going to install the Supertech Racing uh, R35 coil conversion kit for the R32 Skyline. Um, well I guess it could be for R32 or 33 or 34. Um, but the harness that I bought um, converts for coil um, with igniters built into them. So like the R34s. Um, but we're getting rid of the um, stock uh, style, the, uh, these ones, getting rid of these in favor for the R35s. Um, if you're looking for any of these parts, uh, I'll have links in the description below, so check those out. Um, so let's get to it. So as you guys remember, I got a R35 GTR coil uh, conversion kit from Supertech Racing. So they provide these uh, billet uh, brackets. I believe it's aluminum, maybe. Seems like it. Um, there's an easy way to find out. Yep, aluminum. Um, so these things look like super high quality. You'll notice that it has these beveled edges so that when you put the coil in, it kind of, I don't know, sets in there nicely. Kind of sucks it in, I guess. <laughs> um, so they also provided these um, spacers here that screw down into the head. Um, I've done all but one. Uh, it's a 17 millimeter. And this is what they look like. So they just screw down into here. And then these are aluminum as well. So just take a uh, short socket here not to you know mar the head or anything and then just kind of tighten it up and snug it's pretty much all you need right there and then what we do is we'll put the plates down the big openings um, go over the spacers here and these can go uh, only go on one way so if the holes aren't lining up just flip the brackets around and then they supply some Allen head screws here. Uh, I can't see what size that is. Let me see. My eyes suck. Uh, looks like a six, six millimeter, maybe. <laughs> so we'll just go ahead and get them threaded in, started by hand. Okay, so now those are snug in there. Now we can get the coils. I will uh, leave a link in the description below. These are not Nissan coils. These are actually made by Hitachi. Um, you can get them decently uh, inexpensive. I'll uh, leave a link below in the description so you can check them out. So with the kit is also included these 
screws here and a little spacer. And what you do is you put the spacer on the back side and then just go straight down in there, get it threaded a little bit, and then you just seat the coil in there. And then it's snug in its uh, little indentation here. Okay, and these are a little bit smaller of a size than the other ones here. Not sure exactly, let me see. So these are five. Okay. I don't have any uh, spark plugs in there right now. Um, just because this is really just a mock-up. And uh, I don't want to have spark plugs in there when I'm trying to rotate. Also back here, um, I don't know if the camera actually can see it right now, there's two screw holes. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Um, I'm guessing maybe so that you can align the uh, coil to go straight out the back like this or at the same angle as your other ones, like this. So I guess it's really just how you decide to put it in and how it fits best for you. Um, I know that you can use the stock cover here by trimming the back piece a little bit and then everything will fit underneath uh, the stock cover. So, let's see here. That looks pretty good if you ask me. Not too shabby. I guess I didn't have the angle just right. But let's take this out of here. As you can see, pretty high quality stuff here. So anyway, the, uh, the rest that you need to do is basically you need to get a harness that will work with these. I've been told the R34 harness will work, but I'm not positive on that because these have the igniter built into each coil as opposed to the R32 with the igniter itself. Um, I went ahead and I bought a conversion harness. right here so it's just got the two ends that go into your factory um, wiring harness for the car and then these plugs are made for these coils and yeah so I'll put the camera back up and uh, can uh, plug them up and see what they look like So that is how we install the Supertech Racing R35 coil conversion kit. 
Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I know this was a short little video. Um, I've been recording a lot of stuff that I'm doing. Like, as you can see, the motor's pretty much assembled. <laughs> I have footage of all that. Uh, it just takes a lot of time to edit it all together to something that makes sense and that's not just super boring to look at, um, at least in my opinion. Um, so I'm still working on that. Uh, you know, I have a full-time job and three kids. You've heard it all before, I know. Um, so I'm going to try and put out videos when I can. Um, it's getting colder outside now, so uh, I'll probably have some more time to actually work on the car. Um, all the kids' sports are done on the weekends and now, so for the most part, my weekends should be somewhat free. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I want to just say... Thanks for hanging in there with me. I know it's been a long time uh, since I posted, but uh, I appreciate all the uh, comments and the, you know, the, the constant, hey, when's another video coming out? I mean, I'm trying. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to kind of do this little short video so that I can get something out there to you. Um, and I, I really like that you guys like to watch my stuff, you know. Obviously, that gives me motivation to uh, actually make the videos. I mean, I'm sure the engine would probably be in the car by now if I would just be able to just do it instead of having to um, kind of set up cameras and think about what I'm going to say and stuff like that, you know, I mean, which I don't mind doing if it, if it helps anyone out there, you know. So um, I like helping when I can. So with that said, I'm just a, you know, run of the mill everyday dude that has a car and likes to work on his own stuff. I'm not a mechanic or anything like that. So I take everything, I guess, you know, as it is. Um, so anyway, I guess, uh, like comment, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit that little bell icon. So, you know, when I upload new stuff, follow my Instagram and Facebook, I usually post on there before YouTube, obviously, cause it's a lot easier to just take a picture and post it instead of having to edit together a video and stuff. So just saying it gets there faster if you, you know, want to see some content. Excuse me. Um, so anyway, I guess uh, see you next time. See ya.